Hey, I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Mountain Smith Divide, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe so we can keep making you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The Mountain Smith Divide, it looks very nice for everyday use, but it's also very durable. The exterior material is a polyester cotton waxed canvas, which looks, I think, pretty nice. And it doesn't show scratches like some other wax coated materials. It does attract pet hair, so keep that in mind if you pick up the black like I did and also have a white dog. But it does brush off quite nicely, so that's, that's awesome. Looking around for branding, we've got Mountain Smith down here in front, just a nice uh, subtle patch, and then divide over here on the side. Again, we've got the Mountain Smith logo on the shoulder strap. All of that blends in quite nicely on the black colorway. There's also a basil, which is like a lighter green with darker green accents. And then obviously the black patches stick out more. We have some carry, atta some attachment points, excuse me, parading down the center here. And again, on the bottom, they're just nice sturdy webbing straps. I didn't find too much of a use for it, but I do like, I like the look. It's sort of a divide, like the name, divide. So that's kind of cool. But you know, if you had a bike light or you had other things you like to clip to the outside, it's there and that's awesome. So this bag is 16 liters, but it, it, which sounds small, but it actually carries quite a bit. Now, however, I guess because it's a 16 liter bag, the carry handle doesn't have to be so bad, but I would never, like this thing is so very, very thin, you can see, it's not comfortable to carry at all. It's very great to just hang up on a hook. If it's, because it's so thin, it fits on hooks, great. But I wouldn't carry it for long periods of time. We also have, there's a Wujin hardware on the slides down here on the shoulder strap, and then wonderful YKK zippers. And I say wonderful because they do work really well. However, you're not gonna be sneaking up on anybody wearing this backpack. And that is one of the only things that sort of irritates me, but I do have to say, like you get used to it really quickly. It's just, if you're like creeping into a silent library, maybe take it off and carry it gently. So th since this isn't a really huge bag, the, the harness system isn't big, beefy, having to do a whole lot like a big travel backpack would. That said, it is extremely comfortable. The padding on the shoulder straps and back panel is like not too much, not too little, not too stiff. It's perfect, I, for my opinion. I think it fits really nicely. If you look at the top of the shoulder straps, you will see that the foam doesn't go all the way to the top. And so they have a lot of play here and they fit a wide variety of people well, I felt. You've also got some more attachment points on the shoulder strap in case you like to clip things on with carabiners. And then the undersides of the shoulder straps are the same breathable mesh as these two panels on the back panel. Now this middle section is the waxed canvas and I'm not sure quite how sweaty that could get if you were carrying this for a long time in like 80 degrees. Keep that in mind if you are. But overall, like you can see like the curve, the shoulder straps curve here, and it just, it just sort of hugs you when you hold it. And the back panel curves in a little bit, but not too much. It really all comes together nicely. So this is a casual backpack to be sure, but especially in the black colorway, I feel like it fits in most business or office settings. You know, you don't look out of place in a city or if you wanted to take it on a hike, you could do that too, because it's nice and durable. It's not gonna get scratched up by any tree branches or whatnot. And then you can carry your water, your snacks, travel jacket, all that's great. Um, like I said, it does fit a variety of people. We, we tested it here at Pack Hacker and different size 
testers all found it to be really comfortable. You can feel, if you're carrying a laptop, you can feel that a little bit, but it's not so obtrusive that that's all you feel. The cushioning really does do a great job of working. And then there are no strap keepers. So that's the only downside. If that bothers you, tie them up some other way, but it is only two straps that are dangling around. Of course, you know, comfy backpack is only so good as what you can put in it. So let's talk about all the features, pockets around here. You can see I've got my Hydro Flask slid in the water bottle pocket here. It's nice stretchy mesh with a nice elastic material, very nice and tight on both sides. So you can carry two water bottles or a water bottle and an umbrella. Now I do have to say like this is just the standard width bottle and it fits great. I tried to shove a Nalgene in here, so a nice wide one. You can't fit wide ones in here. So if your favorite bottle is a big wide buddy like that, maybe that's where you start hooking things on to the attachment points or you use a different bottle for this backpack. Now, when we start at the top here, you'll see there's a bunch of zippers, and it's because they, of course, all go to different compartments. This shortest one here is a quick access pocket, and it is really soft and bright yellow, but um, it's obviously for phone, sunglasses. It's fairly deep, so you can fit a large size phone down there, no problem, and while parts of the main compartment can sort of swing into that. It's not that hard to sort of wedge your phone in deeper when you've got the main compartment packed out. This rear zipper, remember how I said you could sort of feel a laptop? It's because the laptop is right against the back panel here. Mountain Smith says you can fit a 16 inch device here and we've got our 3D printed 16 inch MacBook Pro here and you can see how close that comes to the zipper. Yes, you can fit it, but it's really tight and this doesn't open up super duper wide. So you are like putting it in completely perfectly vertically and you still might hit the side some. Fits my 13 inch perfectly, no problem. But keep that in mind if you have a big, if you have a big laptop, it does say that it fits it, but it's, it's snug. Then we're gonna skip this big beefy zipper there and head to the front. The front compartment opens completely U-shaped, which I liked, and you have a ton of space in here. Like, can you see how the front sort of, let me zip it back up again real quick, but it's sort of like, pooches out this way. I don't know if that's a great word, but it you can fit a lot and it just sort of expands outward without looking ridiculous, I don't think, and without impacting what you're carrying in the main compartment too much. Like it can go into the main compartment some, but not too badly. So I really like that because we've got, I'm gonna take out a few of these things so you can see. They call this a document sleeve and but i found it was a great um, bluetooth keyboard sleeve or if you frankly if you had a tablet in a case because there's no padding here but if you had a tablet in a case you could probably slide it in just no problem and have carry a second device then in front of it we have a zippered mesh pocket that nicely fits a mouse or a wallet but there's no like RFID protection or anything there. We've got some pen slots and then just open space. So that's why then I put a couple more pouches like in the front here and it all fits really nicely. You could fit quite a bit in there if you needed to, depending on how long you're gonna be carrying this. Now let's open up the this really nice big I think it's a number 10 reverse coil YKK zipper. This is the main compartment. I'm gonna take out my water bottle, set it to the side here. And you can see you still have quite a bit of space in here. It has the same recycled nylon liner as the rest. And this, this gold color is really bright, but it definitely makes it easy to find just about anything. Like you're not gonna lose anything in here, I guess, unless you're packing mustard, which why would you be doing that? So 
Along the back, I don't know that you guys can see, I think the light might be fading it out, but the Mountain Smith like that, I think it's an anvil logo. Um, it's printed all across the recycled nylon, so that's kind of fun just to put their little stamp on things. And then there's so much organization going around the rest of the pack that the main compartment itself is pretty just open. You do have this nice large zippered mesh pocket. I use it for the things that like I still want quick access to, but I don't need in the quick access pocket, like you know some lotion, my AirPods. I toss my keys in there so they're not in the same place as the as my phone. And because the zipper, you can access it both ways. You can just sort of open it a little bit, open this up, and pull out whatever you need. So that's great. And then it flips out of the way if you need to slide things behind it or just see what else is in there. So that's really cool. You can see I've got a couple of packing cubes in here. So if you wanted to use this maybe for a personal item bag, you have space to do that. Or a couple of books, notebooks, whatever. There, there's plenty of room to play with around this bag. And then what I also found is nice. Oh, I did manage to just side note if you if you really wanted to pack like a picnic lunch or whatever like i managed to fit my lunchbox in here even with the laptop and other things so i mean there's a lot of room to play with even though it's only 16 liters but what i also found interesting was mountain smith has uh what do they call it a forged for life guarantee and so they say that you know they're going to replace this or repair it for your lifetime which is a really good shout so it sort of speaks to the quality of you know the how they have made this and that they stand behind it so if this is a bag that you like you'll be pretty happy that it might actually stick around and you can use it for years to come so there you have it the mountain smith divide thanks for keeping it here at pack hacker your guide to smarter travel and we'll see you in the next one